Hey guys, welcome to the Quivers Masters of Commerce vlog. Uh, this is episode three. Uh, I'm still Ben, the head of marketing. And today we're talking about what we call fulfilled by retailer technology. Specifically, we're gonna be looking at why, as brands, you should be selling online and why you should fulfill orders through your retail network. So here's the thing, e-commerce is super important. You should be doing it, right? Right, do I need to explain that? I mean, at this point, e-commerce, that should be a bit of an accepted thing, right? But that's not to say your physical retail network isn't very important you know, as a channel. We recognize that channel conflict occurs when you try and get online, you get a little pushback. Um, that's what's so important about Fulfilled by Retailer Technology. Um, we allow you to sell online, right? And, and finish the transaction and then selectively route those orders out to your retailers for fulfillment. Does that make sense? Clear as mud? Let me draw it for you. Let me, I'm something, you know, of a, a amateur illustrator. So this this will clear it up. This will make it a lot easier. Come take a look. Here's your beautiful website. And here's me, the consumer. So I make the purchase. Ta-da! The order goes to your corporate warehouse. You guys pack and ship it, load it on the truck, right? And it comes back to the consumer. Hooray! Everybody's happy. Except you know who's not happy? Your retailers. So, with Fulfilled by Retailer Technology, the order happens here and then it gets routed out not to your warehouse, but to your retailers. So this is what Quivers does. We, we know instantly who has it in stock to the one that has it in stock. So now they pick, pack it and ship it. It goes here, right to the consumer. Wow, look, he's even happier. Cause likely this could actually be quicker shipping. These guys are super happy. Hooray, they love you. Make sense? No, not helpful. Okay. Yeah, I lied, not an illustrator. So let's look at a real world example from both a business and a consumer perspective. This is a real example. Like I'm going to purchase a pack right now online, all for your entertainment. Okay, so I need a new child carrier pack. Um, I had a previous brand. I won't say their name, I'll throw them under the bus, although I should. I'm gonna buy a new one. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at some brands. I've talked to some of my gearhead friends, done some research online, and I'm thinking about going with Deuter. Okay, so let's go find this pack. All right, first things first, let's search for Deuter. Oh, look, there's an e-tailer e running ads against the brand website. A Little bit of channel conflict going on. So did you catch that? This is critical. If I'm shopping for a pack, right, any pack, Probably the first place I'm gonna go is maybe an e-tailer like backcountry.com, maybe I'm gonna check out Amazon. But if I have brand intent, right? Someone talked to me about something word of mouth, I saw an Instagram ad, whatever, and I have a particular pack in mind, right? Like the, the Kid Comfort Deuter pack, the most probable place I'm gonna start with is deuter.com. I'm probably gonna go to their brand website and check it out there first. This is kind of new um, and very important consumer behavior. All right, here we go. Let's go to the Deuter homepage. Beautiful homepage. Ah, the Kid Comfort, that's the one I'm looking for. Heard good things about it, let's click on it. Oh, oh no. No checkout button, no cart. They don't sell online. It's the dreaded information only site. So this is a rather legacy way of thinking. This kind of comes from a time when brands thought of themselves as manufacturers, right? Um, that is to say, like they make products, they don't do the selling of the products. When the dot-com era came around, some companies like kind of got you know online, um, but not really into commerce. So this is where you get these information-only websites. So they loaded up their page with product information, like they were taking it out of the you know product catalog and putting it all in there, but you can't actually buy it on the website. This is really uh, uh, not an ideal consumer journey and, and honestly uh, a liability for your business. All right, fine. Let's go find this backpack somewhere, I guess. Let's see. They do not have a dealer locator. They do not have a buy it now button that links it to uh, an e-tailer. Like, there's literally no link to buy this thing anywhere on their website. Oh, here at the very, very bottom of the page, find a dealer in your area. It's not an automated tech savvy dealer locator that like finds them for me. It wants me to put in a zip code and hit find a dealer. It's just gonna show me a map. You know, I, I can use Google. I don't, I don't need you. I, I can use a map. Thanks for the link to a map. 
guys. No, but really, dealer locators are not an okay solution. You don't wanna send your consumers off your website at the moment of purchase intent, whether it's to off to you know, go out to a physical store or, or even to you know, another online retailer. All right, let's see if we can find this pack. Let's go, okay, let's go to, let's go to Amazon. Deuter Kid Comfort. Here it is. See, and here's the thing. With Amazon, you have some issues. Anytime you get off the brand website, you're gonna run into some issues. With Amazon, it's loss of margins uh, and loss of control, right? It's fine while they're playing nice, but if they decide not to and change things up, you could quickly find yourself uh, you know, losing control of your margins and, and the purchase experience, and you've essentially taught your consumers to go to them first instead of you. All right, so not, well, we're not gonna get this. I'm not gonna buy it from Amazon. I love Amazon, it's a little secret. I do buy a lot from Amazon. Don't tell anybody I said that, okay? <clears throat> but not gonna buy this pack here this time. Okay, let's go to a big industry e-tailer, right? This is the outdoor industry. Everybody knows the big e-tailer in their back country. They are popular. All right, so we're here. So let's look for child carrier. All right, so been packs, child carrier. Right off the top, I have see Thule. Tool. I don't know how to say that. A Thule Osprey. Uh, maybe now I need to look at uh, Osprey. But seriously, this is, I mean, this is a great example. This is exactly what happens um, when you send people off your website, right, at the moment of purchase intent out to an e-tailer of the retail world, your product is just one amongst many others. It's not like your brand website, or it's just you. You're, what you're taking is a consumer who has right, a product in mind, you're, has you know, brand awareness in mind. They're coming there looking for you. As soon as they're in a retail shop, the retail shop's gonna do exactly what they're supposed to do. Your product's gonna be lined up next to dozens of other products. You know, can easily uh, you know, move on to another product. There's a great sale going on, something of that sort. Um, our data shows that up to 50% of consumers end up purchasing something else uh, once they leave your website. So it's really important um, to dissociate the transaction from the fulfillment or the pickup, right? If you can take the transaction right there online, at the moment of intent, make complete the transaction, take the purchase, then push the order out and let the retailer then fulfill it and ship it to the consumer. That's a much more ideal situation. Either of these are better options than sending people off on a wild goose chase to go chase down the product that they're already ready to buy. Well, now I gotta do it. Now I'm gonna go to Osprey. Kid packs and carriers. Oh, selling on their website. Osprey right here, big checkout cart. I could buy this right now from Osprey.com. Right now, 290 bucks. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have to check this out. Just so look at this, see? Here's a dealer locator that Osprey has too. This is a fancier dealer locator. It shows me Owl's Sporting Goods uh, and Gear 30, both 28 miles away. Uh, if I click through here, it shows me, uh, yeah, okay, they're up in Ogden, right? So it's, it's a city uh, about 30, 45 minutes uh, to an hour north of Salt Lake. So we're not gonna drive to Ogden. Maybe some people will, but like most of the time when you see these, you know, the, the, the nearest dealer is, you know, far too far away. You're not gonna go chase it down. It's ridiculous. I, is it 1994? I'm gonna call them up. I gotta call them up and ask if this is in stock. I mean, it says it's in stock, but the little, the technology that tells you whether it's in stock or not is never right, right? It's almost always off. Awesome. However, these are great local shops, right? We want to support them. If this product had been, you know, in Salt Lake down the block, I would have gone to pick it up. But the locations that it's showing are up in Ogden. So, you know, we still want to support those shops. How could Osprey do it? Ding, 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 that's right. Fulfilled by retailer technology. If they took my order online, right, routed it out to Al's, Al could pick, pack, and ship that order to me last mile down to Salt Lake, probably faster overnight shipping, have it at my doorstep, everyone wins. We even have customers that are like, they're paying their whole bills, they're making profit just off their fulfillment alone, completely aside from the front storefront. All right, I, I gotta do it, we gotta, I gotta buy it. Sorry, Deuter. All right, let's do it. Oh, look, PayPal. We're gonna do this effortlessly. Okay, you guys look away. Look away. You can't see all my information and blur it out. Oh, free shipping. Osprey is doing e-commerce right. I love their e-commerce site so far. 
This is fantastic. Pay with PayPal. Boom. One touch PayPal. I don't have to do anything. All right. PayPal's done. We're in there. All I have to do is hit complete. Boom. There we go. Purchase. There it is. Done. Bought the Osprey pack. Got the shipping confirmations coming my way. Sorry, Deuter. Don't be mad at me uh, that I know about the Osprey pack. Whether you use us or not, you know, uh, use Fulfilled by Retailer Technology um, or not, I, either way, it's a great time to get online to convert consumers like myself um, who are looking to buy on your website, right? And maybe not buy in store. All right, guys, thanks as always for watching. Now is a really great time with everything going on to get online and take part in e-commerce. Um, and as you do so, please uh, remember it is critical that brands and retailers uh, work hand in hand to do more together that they can do separately. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, also give us a follow on LinkedIn and Instagram. And you can visit us on our website uh, where you can request a demo anytime. All right, thanks. See you guys.